No sympathy for you if you ate all the ice cream. I don't know. And then now it's time for Exchange, and they've got the UK's youngest DJ champion on the show. Oh, here's Exchange. <laughs> A magical set. I'm leaving the crowd spellbound. Uh, I, I'm really sorry, but um, the crowd left ages ago. You're so sad. <laughs> <laughs> is graced with the presence of the UK Young DJ Champion of the Year. He'll be showing us how it's really done. I reckon that's the first time that Derek has ever had a wash. Great stuff. That was really high as well. Uh, right now, from Mr. DD to Mr. DJ with Sarah. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm, just, I'm just waving to everyone in the studio. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, OK, then. Now, then. Very, very exciting this change to you today. He's 17 years old and he's just won the title of Young UK DJ Champion. He won it just before Christmas, I know. But not only did he win that title, he won a recording contract. Woo! How cool is that? Please welcome to Exchange, Tony Perry. <laughs> There, Tony Perry. It's very good. It's very good, isn't it? Did you yeah. like that? Okay. Well, welcome to Exchange, Tony. Congratulations. Thank first you of very all. much. Um, so, can, how did you start DJing? Well, we've always had music around the house. Like my dad listens to a lot of music, so um, I started buying my own um, CDs and that sort of thing, and it just went from there. Really. Right, was your dad a DJ? He liked to think he was. Yeah. <laughs> did he carry those like flashing lights in school disco? And yeah, stuff? silver jacket and everything. Oh, like see you at the beginning of the show. Oh. Nice, very good. Okay, so uh, kind of who inspired you by your dad? Of course. Yeah, right. Well, the music he played, there's all sorts of people, really. Yeah, people like from Michael Jackson to Sting cool. to more obscure people as well, like a guy called MJ Cole. And... Right, they're too cool so... for me to know who they are, aren't they? Maybe. I'm yeah, not they're not sure. Blue or Westlife or Busted or probably or Blazing Squad. Um, okay, so it was a really big competition. How many people did you have to go against? I was told it was around 700 or so. so... 700? Yeah. That's pretty good going. And what type of things did you have to do? To well, win? you had 10 minutes in which you had to do as many tricks as you could, really. Okay. So um, you just had to impress as quick as you could. Okay. Cool. Well, we're going to test out your tricks now, because um, Steve and I have chosen our favourite songs ever, OK? Steve has chosen some obscure sco skong, skong, songs by ELO called Mr Blue Sky. What's all that about? Yeah, what is all that about? And I've chosen a beautiful track by uh, Mimi Ripperton and Ooh. it's Loving You. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shush. Listen to it. Pure <laughs> genius right here. OK, then. Shall we hear the track separately first, Tony, okay, yeah? yeah? If you can. What's that about, Stephen? Do you like this type of music, Tony? Oh, I love it, really. <laughs> I don't believe you, oh. somehow. Uh, let's hear a bit of mine, then. It's this now, gang. It's on the wrong one. Where's it gone? Oh, there you That's go. Better. Is it easy? Oh, see? Beautiful. OK, mix them for me, so Make them sound cool.
Look at everything. You. Right, you're going to teach me how to be cool now, yeah? Just going to spin some discs. If you've got enough time, yeah. <laughs> Oh! Right, then over to you, Stephen. Steve's got some um, information on a wicked, wicked competition. Check this out. I don't think I've ever, ever heard the Thunderbirds theme tune sound quite as cool as that. Very, very cool indeed. Nice to have a bit of ELO on the show as well, I must say.